Hello everybody, it's Passan19 and welcome to the Caravan Settings update for 1.6.1. And what I have to say is, is I have good news all around. Uh, the numbers that I'm going to give you are going to be good. Some people may not think they're great enough, but trust me when I tell you, it's pretty darn good news all around for the state of caravans in 1.6.1 compared to what they've been in previous patches. For the people that are first tuning in, I cannot implore enough that you listen to the entire video. Just throwing a companion out, any companion, to do a caravan is going to make you money. However, if you know exactly what to do, you do have the chance at potentially doubling how much a caravan can produce. And this is what I'm going to explain to you today. How I run these is I take a caravan, I set them out for two months, just so they can get established. Then after that, I run them for an entire year to figure out exactly how much profit they are making. In the first section, we're going to see about the number of caravans and how much profit you lose. This has been an extreme problem in previous patches. When I ran one caravan, it made 328 per day. When I ran two, it made 313. When I ran three of them, it made 285. Four of them, 273. Five of them, 270. And when I ran 10 of them, 266. So, as you can see, the number did go down the more that you ran. However, that number is a lot higher than in previous patches. Running 10 of them in about 1.5.8 through 1.6, you could get maybe 100 a day, where now it's 266. That is definitely more in line to where the game should be. So running multiple caravans is not going to hurt you as much as when it did in previous patches. The next thing I wanted to test was, of course, skill. When I sent these guys out with just one skill each, I averaged 285 per day. When I took and raised their scouting to 200, and that was it. Everything else was one. They averaged 363 per day. I then only had their riding to 200. They gained 345. Then only their trade to 200. They averaged 374. So then in previous patches, I increased all their skills to 200 and ran them. However, this patch, I wanted to do it a little bit more realistic. So what I did was is I took all of their skills and made them only 100, not 200, which is a little bit more manageable to do. It still takes some time, but getting 100 on all the major skills isn't that impossible. And when I did that, they averaged 478 per caravan, per day, almost 500 a day. Now, while I was running these, I would normally consider this video over. But something happened when I was watching this. I sent all my guys out from Poros. This is what I've been doing the last few patches. But I noticed something when this was happening. The caravans all seemed to kept coming back to Poros every few days. It was like they would get sent out, go to a couple places, and work their way back to Poros. This goes back to something when I first started doing this, and Mexico told me to spread them out. And it made a difference. But all of a sudden, around 1.5.9, it stopped. It didn't do any good. So... When I sent five caravans out with just one skill each, all from Poros, they made 270 a day. 
I then took those five caravans with only one skill point in each skill. And I spread them out and made sure there was at least two cities in between them. They averaged 362 per day. Almost a hundred more by spreading them out. So I wanted to run one final test. When I took all the caravans and I made them 100 skill each. And I sent them out from Poros. They made 478 per day. However, this time I took those five caravans that were 100 skill each and I separated and spread them out. They averaged 540 per day. So how can you make money with caravan? This is what you need to do. First of all, prioritize skills. Now, I would never suggest putting everything into one skill, as trade is going to make you more money. But scouting and writing, and also you can say tactic, is going to help your caravan survive. And survivability is where you really start pulling your profit because when they get captured, you have to go wait for them to get freed, go rescue them, send them back out for another month or two before they start making full profit. So these are the skills that I would recommend you prioritize in order and not necessarily try to get 200, but make sure you have at least 40 to 100 in each of them. Number one would be trade. Number two is scouting. Number three is writing. Number four is tactics. Number five, I would say medicine. And then after that, start getting into whatever weapons perk that they might have, whether it's one-handed, or if they have throwing or bow, so that they can fight better in battle. Next of all, spread out your caravan. If you're going to have one go from Poros, make sure there's at least one city in between them, preferably two. Go to either Jomaris or go to Legata or Atesia to send the next one out. And that goes the same way over this way. Maybe send one out from Onir or Husenpol. Then from here, maybe wait to go to Prevend or Oxhall, and then always write down which caravan you sent out from which town, so that way when a caravan gets captured, you know that's where you need to send them back out at. If you don't write it down, and you forget where did the silent go from, and I send him out from Poros, where the lead was sent out from, that's going to cut into your profit. So Spread them out and write it down. So making that profit, it comes down to choosing the right perks, spreading them out, and I always upgrade mine to better tier troops so that way they can survive longer. I feel it is definitely worth the 7000 investment to go ahead and get it done. I did average losing a caravan about every... Under a year, I would lose a caravan. So you're going to lose them. But I cannot stress enough that the certain perks like riding, scouting, tactics can help them survive longer. And when you're out on the campaign map and you see big groups of bandits, take them out. Because they're going to go after your caravan. And the one that you pass by and say you don't want to attack could be the one. That ends up plundering your caravan. Those are the settings for 1.6.1. As you can see, if you go back to one of my previous ones, the numbers are up across the board. And having the possibility of making between 450 and 550 per caravan per day, that's double what some workshops can make. That I'm starting to feel is more like high risk, high reward. Maybe not completely there yet, but I think it's getting there 
and I think they're actually now viable to run. Until 1.6.2, take care, and thanks for watching.